creating my background first. Now, when I create my background, it's okay to go outside that red line a little bit, but the important information Today at the Living Campus, we're hosting one of our first speaker and residence series. It's a drawn to life cartoon animation. The animation workshop is for students in grades four through to 12. When we first sent out the email to schools to invite them to attend the cartooning workshop, we had all 20 spots filled within half an hour. In total, we had requests from over 165 classes to attend this amazing workshop. Back in December, I attended a workshop hosted by the Ontario Arts Council about their artist and education grant. Uh, the idea is that an artist would propose a project that they would like to teach in schools with uh, students. Uh, so I approached Kevin and Colleen at the DSPN uh, here at the Walker Living Campus, uh, suggested an animation workshop based on some classes that I've previously taught at libraries. And they loved the idea and they offered to host it here at the Walker Living Campus. The students are creating cartoon animation through the traditional way using a pencil and paper. We start off the day with some very uh, small, short, uh, introductory drawing activities, some little icebreakers. Uh, some students love to draw and they draw a lot. Other students, this is their first time really being asked to make drawings. So I start off with some fun cartoon face activities. Then we talk a little bit about what animation is. We actually do an exercise where students, are, we use them like puppets and we do a technique similar to stop motion animation called pixelation and the students will pose uh, for individual pictures and we take photographs and we actually see them animated on screen first to learn about frame rate um, and how to go from one pose to the next to make a sequence. Uh, and then from there they brainstorm an idea that they would like to animate. The goal today, they're going to animate a very short sequence, like maybe about one second of animation, hopefully something that we can loop over and over again. I collect all the student work, finish filming the ones that don't get filmed today, and then we produce a, a short video with all of the student work together that they can then share and show their friends and family and teachers at school. The Walker Living Campus really provides the perfect backdrop for creative expression. The students uh, involved in the workshops are absolutely loving it. It has really inspired them creatively and shown them a lot of things that they wouldn't normally see in their classroom. The skills learned while hand drawing cartoon animation can be transferred to the digital world. The nice thing about animation, it's got a little bit of a magic to it. So, uh, you know, people have seen cartoons on TV or in the movies. They're familiar with what animation is, but to actually create it on your own, see your own drawings come to life, uh, there's always that, oh wow, like I, I can't believe it. Like they, they actually see that they can create something that seems living and moving on screen. So uh, I've had students from grades four right through grade 12, and, and it never fails. Even the teachers that participate, they're always, there's that little moment where they're, they're in shock. They can't believe that their drawings come to life. In Niagara, you're watching The Source.